Hello viewers. This is your teacher, Rojab, and this is your favorite learning station, Elimu TV, where we always watch and learn. And I'm so far sure that uh, all along we have been having very enjoyable lessons. We have learned a lot in our history classes. And now today we're getting to our second lesson of uh, industry, development of industry. And now today we we'll get to look at uses of metals. Now, before we get to our today's class, I had given an assignment yesterday whereby we were to state the early sources of energy. Randomly, can you get to state some of the earliest sources of energy? Good. We have got wood, thank you. We have got water, and also we have got. Yes, someone? Then we started coal. Coal, coal, coal was also another early source of energy, thank you. However, we didn't mention that in our previous class. And now today, we'll get to look at the uses of metals in Africa. Uh, now, by the end of the lesson, we get to state the uses of gold as a metal. We get to state the uses of copper as a metal. We get to state the uses of bronze as a metal. And also, get to state the uses of iron used in Africa. Now, can we get straight to gold, right? Or rather, get, uh, let us start from bronze as a metal. What were some of the uses of bronze? And what is this bronze? Bronze is just an alloy of copper and tin. When you talk of an alloy of copper and tin, it is a mixture, right, of two metals. One, we have got copper, and then two, we have got tin. That is a mixture of two metals. Now, and as you can see, we have got different images there, right? Now, the first image, that's, uh, that, that, that is what is bronze, right? That is what is called bronze. However, you can get to use your internet, get to see more other relevant images on how bronze looks. And now bronze can be molded to different shapes. Now, can we get to, to look at the uses of bronze? One, bronze is used to make weapons. For example, you've got the daggers, the arrowheads, we have got the spears, the shields, and the helmets. For example, we have got a helmet there, right? And these helmets were used in, um, in the past times, right? When people could go to, to war. Right? When soldiers could go to war, they used the helmets. And now these helmets were made of bronze. And as we said earlier, bronze is just a combination or a mixture of copper and tin. And also, it could make tools like machets or other pangas, hammers and axes. And also, it could make ornaments like bracelets and rings. All those things that we on our fingers, sometimes others can be made out of, out of bronze. All those the, the, the bracelets we wear, the necklaces, the bracelets we on, on, on our hands, they are made out of, out of bronze. Now, those are some of the uses of bronze. And don't forget that bronze is a mixture of copper and tin. Can we get to gold? Gold as a metal. And as you say, as you know, gold is one of the precious metals we have. And as we said in trade, it was mostly used in trade. It was used as a form of currency. It is very precious right and expensive and is also a measure of wealth now it is the earliest metal used by, by man now the first image we can you, you can see how how glittering gold is right you can see how glittering gold is how precious it is now let us get to, to look at the uses of gold one you have got the jewelry for example the rings right the necklaces also right all those those fall under the jewelry so they are very precious. For example, you have got a gold, we are a gold ring, very expensive. And also, it is used as trade. Earlier in Trans-Saharan trade, in trans antarctic trade, we said gold was a form of currency. It was used in, in, in trade. And also, finally, it is a form of currency. It was used to make coins and served as a measure of wealth. I said people in the earliest periods, they could use gold as a measure, a measure of wealth finally can you get to look at copper copper as a metal right now as you can see the first image we have got copper rods right if you get to see those people who deal with electricity electricity installation they use copper rods right now those copper rods are also precious right 
and also the, 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 the one, one reason as to why the people of uh, installing electricity get to use copper is because copper does not easily rust. Copper does not rust. All those uh, electricity lines, right? The copper rods used in, 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 uh, in electricity installments, they don't get to rust. That is copper. Now, let us get to you as you look at the uses of copper. One, it was used to make sheets, pipes, masks, and shields. For example, we have got the second image of a person wearing a mask. And remember, we have been in a period of COVID-19, right? And government protocols advise that we get to use masks, right? And our countries, or rather industries, have designed masks made, masks made out of masks made out of <clears throat> out of copper. Why were they? Uh, where, where are they highly regarded? The, the the copper masks because they don't easily get that right. They don't easily get that, and also it is a, it is an antiseptic, antiseptic, right? The germs cannot easily fall on the mask, right? So that is one use of uh, of copper in the making of masks, and also it is used to make household items, for example, spoons, plates, right? And also it is used to make weapons, for example arrow heads and this is this was all, all mostly used in the traditional in the in the in the traditional times and for our for our brain teaser can we get to see if we have understood the uses of metals can we get to state some of the uses of gold and bronze as a metal for our reference get to refer to evolving world history and government form to the sixth edition and as always, this is LMTV. Thank you so much for those people who are giving us their feedbacks through our contact address via our SMS double two five one eight, via our Facebook page LMTV, via our, our Twitter account at LMTV underscore Kenya. Let us keep interacting. Let us keep learning. And as always, keep tuned in to LMTV, your favorite learning channel where you watch and learn.